Hey guys, welcome to CompRod Garage. Nick Reinhardt, Sales Manager here at Competition Products. Welcome back to another edition of CompRod Garage. Uh, we're, we're back in our machine shop here today because I want to go over a product that we sell a lot of and I, I, we get questions on it every once in a while on the difficulty and what it takes to install this product and it's rock block here. So we're going to kind of go over those things today on what it takes to install this and it, it's actually pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. Um, the, the biggest thing is follow the instructions to a T. Um, there's some additional tools you're going to need to use. Um, you're going to need two funnels, you're going to need a rubber mallet to tap on the block to get the stuff to settle in the water jackets, you're going to need a level to get the block leveled front to back, side to side, because you want that stuff in, in the water jackets level. Have another pail and also a mixer that you can use in the end of a half inch drill to help aid mixing this and also it also helps to have a paint stick. You can get in the corners and get all that mixed in thoroughly. So with that being said, let's, uh, let's kind of get into the procedures and how we put this stuff in. All right guys, so now that we've kind of went over some of the extra tools that we need to install this rock block, let's kind of talk about getting the block prepared and getting it ready for the rock block installation. Uh, number one, we, the block has to be clean. Make sure it's hot tanked, make sure it's completely clean, free of debris, no oil and grime. Um, the cleaner the block, the better this stuff is going to adhere to the water jacket. So once that's all kind of done and you're ready there, make sure the freeze plugs are in the block. Make sure the drain plugs are in the side of the block because depending on how much rock block you want to put in your particular block, depending on your application, uh, some guys put in a half fill and some guys go right to the top of the water pump hole. So make sure you have everything prepared before you start mixing your rock block because once you start mixing it you have 15 minutes to get the product in the cylinder uh, to, to get this job done. So with that being said let's uh, start going over some of the procedures and getting ready on getting the block leveled off and prepared for installation. Alright guys so now that we have kind of went over the initial tools that we're going to need and the cleanliness of the block and whatnot. Let's kind of get into the initial setup and the procedures to get this rock block installed uh, before you get the product mixed in. So uh, the first thing is we want to get the block leveled. Okay, so we need to get leveled front to back and this one here is not quite level yet. This is kind of just for demonstrating purposes. This particular block is finished machined already. It has rock block installed in it already. So if you got to do any other machining processes, make sure you put the rock block in first before you bore and hone it because it will change the shape of the cylinders. Um, so when, once you get all that kind of finished up, you want to get the block leveled. So this one needs about a quarter inch shim underneath it to get it leveled in the front. And once you get that kind of established, you can use plate steel under the wheels of your engine stand or whatever you got to use in your shop area. So once we get that kind of done, we're going to take the level and we're going to kind of level the block this way. So, and it's important to get the block level because if you don't, it's not going to flow in your water jacket evenly. So, and we, and we want it as, as flat as possible. So once we get that kind of done, we're going to get your funnels out and like I said, get all this prepared before you mix because once you put water in it, you literally have 15 minutes to get this product in. So, uh, so now that you got your, your funnels in, the blocks leveled, um, you're, you're basically kind of ready to start with the mixing process. Now, the pail comes in 25 pound package, so you're gonna need to divide this in half. So you're gonna need 
another pail to divide that out. Get, get another pail, divide out half into the other pail, and then you can start with the mixing procedure in your original pail. Follow the instructions to a T. Make sure, another tip, use cold water. Do not use hot water. If you use hot water, it will set up in the pail. So once we get cold water in here and kind of get it all mixed up, we're gonna start with the installation procedure. Make sure once you start mixing, turn your phones off, don't get distracted, don't take text, don't do any of that stuff. You got 15 minutes to get this stuff in. So once we start with that and you get it all mixed, we're gonna start pouring it in. It's easier to use two people. This is kind of a two person job. You can do it with one, it's easier with two. So, you know, once you start pouring, you're gonna to wanna to use two funnels to kind of work the product back and forth and get it kind of in the, in the water jacket. Take your light rubber mallet and just lightly tap on the block to help get this stuff to kind of fall in all the little crevices in the block, both sides of the block. Kind of keep working around once you get it kind of, you know, at the level that you want, depending if you want it half fill or a tall fill. Um, you, you make sure you got that all figured out before you start the installation. So it's going to take about five, ten minutes, and this stuff is going to start to solidify. And within an hour, it will be initially set up so you can start on the other side. So if you guys have uh, any more questions that I didn't cover today on installing this product or about this product, be sure to call our tech line. Our guys on the tech line will be more than happy to help you. Uh, you can call them at 800-233-0199. Uh, you can go to our website. The product is on our website. And we'll be glad to uh, help you any way we can.